Today marks the start of the spring semester for the College of Southern Nevada. 30,000 students expected back to their campuses. CSN has been working to try and boost its medical programs and help students prepare to enter that workforce. Ni Wong is live with a look at CSN's dental hygiene clinic this morning. Hi, Nia. Hi, Kirsten and John. Actually, this time we are in the office for the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. It is one of the many growing programs that CSN is offering this semester. And joining us is Tracy McCord. You're, you're in charge of this operation. Yeah. So when it comes to sonography, you don't just look at babies all day, right? No, no, no. And that's the big misnomer. I think that gets the majority of the publicity, really. But we actually have two concentrations of the program. Ultrasound can look at anything soft tissue. So as long as air or bone isn't in the way, we can look at it. So livers, blood vessels, hearts, thyroids, you name it, we can scan it. And, you know, the point is to try to find abnormalities so that they, they can treat things. We actually have the only accredited ultrasound program in the state of Nevada. So um, tell us about this office you got going on here. We see screens, we see beds. I mean, what are the tools that pr prospective students will be working with? Well, we actually have a really, really well-equipped lab. We do very, very well with uh, federal funding. So um, students will come to scanning lab, alternating with clinical rotations actually in the field. So depending on what concentration they went for, if they went for general ultrasound, which is livers, babies, or they went cardiac track, they'll come into scanning lab and practice before they're actually in clinical rotation so that they're not just thrown into the field kind of in practice and on patients. Yeah. But we have pretty much every um, hospital and outpatient clinic in town. We have a lot of cl clinical sites that students will rotate through over the course of the two-year program. So tell us about the jobs demand for this field. Well, this one actually nationally has a very good outlook. The Bureau of Labor Statistics actually predicts that we have a 23% growth rate, um, which is higher than average for most occupations. It's around 7% for all occupations together. So very good prospects, not only locally, but nationally. So for people who are interested in this field, uh, what do you tell them? Well, um, you can still register for classes to start working on your prerequisite courses, anatomy and physiology, those sorts of things that we want you to have done before you actually apply for the program. Um, so try to get yourself registered. We actually allow students to come in and observe during scanning lab so they can get a sense of whether this would be a field that they're interested in or not. Okay. Um, so, so give us a call. My name's on the website. Absolutely be um, more than happy to show them around. So uh, even though the spring semester starts today, they can still register, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we have shorter classes that they can still get into to start working on their prerequisites. So yes, it's not too late. All right, Tracy, thank you so much for uh, sharing your laboratory with Absolutely. us. We are going to explore one more section of CSN. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be hanging out here, and I'm going to send things back to you at the desk, Kirsten and John. All right. Thanks, Nia.